What's up guys, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family. Welcome back to another City Skyline tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the base game and also further looking into our water um, service and supplies. So in the last video we looked at water supply. Today we're going to be look, looking at water treatment and sewage output. So if you have the Green Cities DLC, then you have got four ways of um, getting rid of sewage. If you do not, then you only have two. Uh, on both on uh, two of these or one of them if you do not have the DLC uh, they are simply just a exit pipe for all your raw sewage uh, whereas the other one is some form of treatment plant meaning your water is or your sewage is slightly treated before it is going back into uh, water potential just putting back into nature and open water so for the demonstration of this video I have disconnected this city and this park from the main water grid over here because this already has some form of sewage output here which we looked at in a video a long time ago uh, but this is literally dumping raw sewage out um, so not very good but for demonstration purpose of this video we're going to be looking at all four uh, for a separate grid so you can see here this is a completely independent loop and is not connected up to the main system now as I said in the last video you do not want to place your sewage output or any form of treatment uh, for your sewage upstream of your fresh water supply so that's the reason why I've got this long pipe here coming down to the ocean uh, simply because I could in theory place my sewage outflow pipes here uh, because it is downstream of my input here but it is not downstream of my main city input here and here so therefore my main city will become will get sick because of the outflow of the sewage from the other part of the city I do not want that to happen so I might as well contaminate, contaminate the sea a little bit further but further around the bay so you can see the effects down here now all of these buildings do require some form of power um, so it's you know worth noting that I have placed down some more small little kind of advanced wind turbines here in the water just to get, provide me some power without bringing across a power line so my pipe comes out here so we're going to place it in here so under the water sewage and heating section you'll find the um, outflow pipes that we're talking about so at a raw basic you have the water drain pipe uh, this has a drain capacity of 120,000 uh, cubed meters a week um, so it's the same output as the input for the water pumping station and it's worth noting that fairly enough they're the same uh, but this does not have any form of water treatment in it at all so this is literally raw sewage being dumped out into water so it's got a high pollution value uh, it's down payment of 2500 and has an upkeep of 320 a week so a slight upgrade from that is part of the green cities uh, dlc uh, this only has this is the eco water outlet uh, and you can tell it's eco because it's slightly shade of green uh, this has half the pumping capacity or the drain capacity of only 60,000 uh, cubic meters uh, so it's on as the same uh, output as the input of the water tower um, but it does say on the wikipedia page that it has a slight um, pollution reduced rate of any sewage coming out so is slightly reduced when it's coming out it doesn't give it an exact value though um, but then we move up into the higher regions oh sorry we'll have a look at the money so this is a cost a down payment of 4,000 and has an upkeep of 480 a week so in comparison 2,500 and 320 to 4,000 and 480 so it is slightly more now we move up into the more of the treatment points of the um, sewage outflow pipes so we have in the base game we have the water treatment plant so this is basically uh, it water uh, sewage comes out of your system goes through a small treatment process and is then pumped out into uh, the body of water um, so it is fairly good so this has a pumping or drain capacity of 160 cube 160,000 cubic meters a week is very very so it's much higher than just uh, pumping it out from a pipe 
but it does have it doesn't require a road and it also has a pollution output reduced by 85 percent um, so it is you know if you're looking for that slightly greener city this is the one you want to go for if you do not have the money or the dlc for greener cities uh, it has a down payment of 15,000 and it has an upkeep of 640 a week uh, so it's considerably more now if we move on to kind of the top tier and what is the most uh, kind of efficient for getting rid of sewage and making less pollution we have to look no further than the eco water treatment plant so this has the exact same drain capacity of 160,000 uh, cubic meters a week. Um, it doesn't, once again, all of these don't require road access, uh, but the pollution output is reduced by 94%, leaving only 6% pollution in, left in the sewage that is being pumped out into the body of water. So it's very good and very manageable if you use the garbage collectors out in the water. You can effectively get zero pollution in the water. So that is very good. But if we look at the money here, the cost is 25,000 as a down payment, uh, but the upkeep is considerably more with 560 a week. So if we kind of compare those two as treatment plants, so it's 15,640 to 25,560. So it's considerably more. Let's build all of these in a row and we'll have a look at them flow. So we'll have a look, here's the uh, sewage outflow pipe and we'll put that next to the green outflow pipe and we'll put the treatment plant uh, over here uh, like that and with the green treatment plant over here and we'll connect all of these up with the pipes so to connect these you simply just connect it up to the blob on the back just like so uh, so it's not so unlike uh, normal buildings uh, these don't have to these aren't a case of if they're in range they're good they have to be physically connected using the pipes once they turn green it means they are in use sometimes if um, there's not enough outflow capacity then they'll automatically turn off so that might be what's happening in this case so to help with that i'm going to connect it up to the main system just to have that sewage treatment come out of this one as well and we'll hopefully see this one come online there we go so we can see here already the difference between these two other than the color is this one the sewage the water that is coming out is a very dark brown whereas this one has has barely changed it's still fairly brown it's still fairly brown uh, but it's not uh, nearly as bad as this one so i'm going to turn this one off and we'll see how this one flows uh bear in mind this water pollution doesn't go away um you just have to treat it this one is turned off but we can still see this one is pumping out a fair bit of brown uh, but it's nowhere near as bad as that one. So we'll turn these off because uh, we want our water to be treated. Next, we moved on, we move on to our treated uh, our treatment plants. So we can see here, this one is by the 85%. Um, so it's still fairly good. Uh, but you can still see that the water which is coming off, it has got that tinge of brown on it. Uh, it is nowhere near, nowhere near as bad as these two and they went absolutely miles away from what as bad as this one but you can still see it is fairly brown and once you have a large city this is going to become a massive problem now we move on to our top tier you can see the water which is coming out of here is pretty much almost crystal clear um, and you can't really tell that that is only six percent polluted and is almost you would argue drinkable so with a couple of v's in the water that is pretty much crystal clear water so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's for the treat. That's for the water outflow system. I hope that's been really useful. I'm now going to get on with my city, building it up, placing these eco plants around the city. So hopefully, in the next video, in, in the next video, I'll show you the cleanup process of these. Hopefully, going to all of these. So yeah, if this has been useful for you guys hit that like button if you love water and uh, treatment sewage also hit the like button because why not uh, and subscribe you guys you know what to do i've been scotty from the blue coconut family thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye